today, one of you guys suggested I react to European stereotypes, and that's kind of interesting at the moment because I'm obviously an Irish girl living in Spain, and I've visited a lot of European countries, but not all of them. Move over, Europe! Some people are totally anti-stereotypes. I personally believe that they come from somewhere. Stereotypes come from somewhere because they're obviously popular in the place that they exist. Can they be negative? Sure, but they're also funny. And if you can't laugh at yourself, What's the point of being alive? Honestly, because somebody else will laugh at you for it. Before I get into today's video, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you go to have one of those drink cartons with a straw, when you go to drink the drink, the straw will be gone. Someone's taken the straw and you'll have to, you'll have to just sip it from the hole and that's no crack. So subscribe, like, comment, do those things for the algorithm and you will not get cursed by the Irish curse. Thank you. So far in our stereotypes videos, this is an infographic video, by the way. I love their stuff. Um, Today we're going to spread the fun much and wider they have and a lot of good information. But because of that, we'll only be able to mention a few stereotypes. Some of these will no doubt be quite amusing or even insulting, so please take them away. Hopefully, you are then. We're going to I will be insulted if they don't European do Ireland. Members, but they not have all to. of the 50 it's such an easy place in Europe to and those handful of transcontinental countries. We'll hazard a guess Austria. and say that many of our viewers have visited is the, the same small music. country that sits in Central Europe. For that reason, you'll know little more about Austrians than the dubious fact that they all like to drink beer, wear funny green hats, and of course enjoy yodeling. Yeah, Over in Belgium, people are also natural born beer connoisseurs. Beer, they love beer in Belgium. That, they love nothing more than chill. filling their faces with fries and chocolate. And they also According speak to the languages. stereotype, they are a funny breed who take life at a relaxed pace, mm -hmm. except they can't seem to agree on speaking just one language. Hey. Now in Cyprus, the sun bleached nation where everyone is Cyprus, lots of these people make love islanders connections live a life of leisure, people. even if they are not rich. Their doors are always open to the traveler who wants to check out the laid-back lifestyle. It's certainly nothing like that in the Czech Republic, where the people can seem hostile and Czech. rude at first. Don't worry, yeah. they don't mean it. The men spend half their life in the pub watching the language. sports and drinking, but it's the women harsh. stay home and cook. It's easy to spot them as they all have a funny sense of what fashion is. Oh. Ah, Denmark. One of those places in the world where no one is poor. In fact, Denmark. all Danes have good jobs and never worry about being broke. They are a bit depressed though, what with everything being flat oh. and the sky always being grey. For that reason, they have a lot of, uh, open relationships. Some of oh, the men still think that they are that. Vikings, so they join motorcycle gangs and cause trouble. France is easy because it's France. one of the most stereotyped places yeah, on the planet. Very yeah, they drink a lot but of yes, wine, and yes, they love mustaches. their food and hate the English. They are they a haughty do. bunch, critical of many things, and are not afraid to tell you. They seem to have a penchant for the stranger things in life, they and that's why they have a history of being making very Irish, messed up not movies English. or writing they books like that most English. of the world thinks should be banned. The French don't care. They are proud of being the world's avant-garde. The French yeah, may have some misgivings thing. about their neighbors, the uh, Germans, Germany. for good reason too. Those Germans are just good at everything. They are never ever late and even take great pains in organizing just the breakfast. They are very conscientious the in They are Germany. all born with an acumen for engineering, but unfortunately this Germans hasn't helped so their ability to cook cuisine that isn't bland. All they seem to eat is sausage and potato and sauerkraut, washed down with beer of course. Life beer. is very different in Greece, where the folks live that. a much Greece. more laid-back lifestyle. They're I mean, all hairy for some reason, including the women. I, I Nothing like is Greek more important people. than family, and you'll find the Greeks spending hours They're around the family warm. table involved in gossiping about someone else's family. Over to Ireland, an Yay! everyone in this alcohol soap nation likes nothing more than to sing and be merry. They love a bit of the yeah. coke, and no, we're not talking yes. about the kind you smoke with a pipe. Do you Don't say make crank? They love a bit of the crank as the men, and women actually, are natural born boxers. Well, true. that's beside all the soft-spoken poets living Very in Ireland. True. A strange stereotype came from Sigmund Freud, who once famously said they were the only people who are impervious, impervious to psychoanalysis. To psychoanalysis. That Italians is true. I studied psychoanalysis, sorry Italy, I'm gonna pause you. Shout. I studied psychoanalysis uh, for my undergraduate degree, and um, yeah, Irish people are impervious to psychoanalysis because we're just too complicated. There are too many contradictions and Irish men love their mommies, but they don't necessarily want to have coitus with their mommies. That's cool. I'm glad they did Ireland. Okay, back to Italy. And argue with anyone and everyone. These people are passionate about everything, especially food. If they can, they'll do yeah, everything Italian the easiest way possible, amazing. even if that means breaking a few rules. They are yet to grasp political correctness when it comes to sexual relations, oh, really? and for them, a bit of wolf whistling is fair game. Oh, Could interesting. Say people really enjoy the three Fs, yeah. food, football, and fashion. And to be sure, they'll tell you all about it. Over to Lithuania, a country Lithuania. We have so many Lithuanians in Ireland. 
Again, don't tell these folks they are part of Russia, as they no, won't they like, that. like that. At when all. they are in good moods, they like nothing more than to knock back some vodka while singing they and love dancing along to the accordion. That is true. As for Luxembourg, it's so small that Ooh, it's almost Tiny hidden. Tiny. Everyone here has Tiny money, Tiny and most people either work in the civil service, the steel industry, or are farmers. They don't get out much, and we mean out of the country, so it's unlikely you'll ever meet one of these mysterious people. Imagine a bit of German and French mix, and you are close. Over to the Netherlands, Netherlands. the country of progressive clog wearers who speak perfect English but with a They're very funny fun accent. People. These tall, They're white people like warm. nothing more than to ride around on a bicycle stoned out of their minds. Oh, right. If they are not doing that, they are attending to their <laughs> Yeah, I would say that garden. is a stereotype. Now to Poland. The Poland. land of black people who will not spare your feelings by speaking nice to you about your work. Oh, We've I didn't taken notice that about Germany Poland. And Russia in the past, and this has made some of them a little bitter and aggressive. Huh. Half the country moved to the UK. We have a lot of Polish in Ireland. A lot. In Portugal, people are much more relaxed. Portugal relaxed to is the point of a laziness. big All the men are handsome place. and have brown skin, while the women like to cook while listening to fado music. They take life easy for the most part because they know it'll be oh, over God. enough. And one thing, stop confusing yeah, them with the they, Spanish. They don't like Kinda that. like the Indians, they have a thing for mustaches. The Spanish don't. Spain. They live the joie de vivre, even if it means sitting about all day, drinking yeah. sangria, and watching soccer they, on TV. They do they like don't their care. They live in a warm country full of beauty, with beaches too. They stay up late, flirt all the time, oh. sometimes torture bulls, and enjoy the I can't Eurovision say I've song encountered contest. too much flirting. As for the Swedish, honest. these blonde haired, blue eyed people are just live in the snow, very attractive. or some people might. Apparently, good looking people aren't allowed to get depressed. Rich people too. You're not allowed. They are open-minded, but suffer from sadness, oh. as everyone in that part of the world does. Why? They You're all so good-looking. The so it's pretty easy to understand. They don't worry about money or finding good work, and they tell jokes about the Norwegians. They like pastry, coffee, and some weird we meats. We all do. They also keep a very clean house, and country for that matter. Last on the list is the UK, UK a country stacked with pie-eating poor people fighting over soccer and yeah. politics. Their overlords have funny, posh accents and still think they are living in the Middle Ages. Not the all, working but people yeah. like the park, a safe place to hide from the perpetual rain and cold. They have white skin that burns easily, drink, a lot, drink a lot of tea, and everyone watches hours of telly daily. They love their TV in the showing UK. Them nice love places it. they could visit if they had any money. I think I was most surprised watching that video by how many countries I know absolutely nothing about but the stereotypes and that's probably my fault. I could do with traveling a bit more. As for the Irish ones, I mean, they're fair enough. They're kind of spot on. The Spanish ones too, they do like to have their siestas and rest a lot. I don't know the Spanish people are flirty. I haven't encountered that too much. But yeah, I really enjoyed that video actually. Do feel free to suggest to me in the comments below a video you might like me to watch. Sometimes when you share links, they go to spam because YouTube doesn't like you sending links. So maybe just direct me to the video. Do you want to shout out anyone today? Oh yes, I have two very special ones. The first one goes to Terry Humiston, who has been married to the same man for 38 years today. His name is Nelson. They have two sons, one granddaughter, and numerous pets, including my friends Ziggy, Abby, Taz, and Crazy Aunt Mercedes. We hope you have a very happy wedding anniversary. And thank you for all your support. You can do this shout out, mommy. This shout out goes to Jason Moyer for his father, James. With Father's Day this Sunday and July 4th fast approaching, Jason wants to remember James who passed away in 2014. He still thinks of him and misses him every day. This picture was taken when his family lived in Germany while his dad was stationed in the US Air Force in the mid 1970s. Jason is about two years old here. Wishing you a good Father's Day and thank you for all your support, Jason. If you see them below in the comments, say boop or just yawn. That's it for today. See you on the other side. Bye. These headphones are actually mechanic and they get stuck to my earring sometimes. You're Maltese, half of you. So half of you is from Malta. Before I get into today's video, I'd be appreciative if you'd subscribe. Otherwise, I won't be able to get a sentence out. Some people might like that.